Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich TV Live with a very special guest, the CEO of LeoCore Gold, Alex Klenman. How are you doing today, Alex? Good, Rich. How are you? Thanks for having me on. I'm very excited. And I have a whole bunch of different things I want to talk about today regarding LeoCore Gold. And obviously, gold is doing really well. Now, first and foremost, you guys have a massive gold exploration portfolio, over 150,000 hectares, almost 600 square miles in the best mining jurisdiction in North America, Newfoundland, and a technical team led by award-winning prospector, Sean Ryan, the man behind some of the largest gold discoveries in the past 15 years. And you're starting in an active field season with multiple drill programs in the coming months with a $4 million cash position. So the company, in my opinion, is very undervalued, underappreciated, yeah. underexposed. You're also trading at a 52-week low, despite the fact that gold is at $2,000 and we're heading into a bullish commodity super cycle. And the last time you guys had financing, it was at 50 cents. Yeah. So we are literally trading at three to four times lower than where you guys did your initial fundraising, yeah. despite the fact that you guys have advanced the project for two years and mm -hmm. you had constant work done to delineate drill targets and the opportunity to acquire shares is so cheap. Mm -hmm. Two years ahead of the last raise is a tremendous value proposition in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So love to know what you think about this right now and where you believe this is going. The CEO, Alex Klenman of LeoCore Gold. You guys also raised $8 million at that 50 cent price. And we're at a $2,000 gold, two years advanced, and a much cheaper entry point for LeoCore Gold today. So my first question today, Alex, is why do you think this is the time to introduce our community to Leo Core Gold. Yeah, well, you said it perfectly. Um, you hit all the major points. Uh, look, um, two years ago, or a little over two years ago, we did that big raise. We had a lot of institutional support in that raise, some, some well-known funds. Uh, and despite the fact that we knew utilizing, uh, you mentioned the world, world, world renowned prospector, Sean Ryan, he's, he's our technical guy. He's made some big discoveries. He's all over the place. He really came into Newfoundland, you know, five, six, seven years ago, started scooping up ground because it was so underexplored compared to the rest of Canada. And so we're real lucky. Um, and, and it, unfortunately, look, our market cap has, has, has evaporated. Um, we're sitting at a $6 million market cap today and 4 million of that's in cash. So um, I can tell you that the projects themselves are worth a lot more than that. Um, and and so, the, you know, obviously when, when the market turns, the value that's being buried right now by various factors, and we've got a sketchy market, we've got, you know, lots of macro issues. Uh, you know, we've got we've got war, we've got the recession, we've got inflation, we've got bank failures, we've got all these issues. Uh, and it, it's not surprising there's a lot of money on the sidelines, but that always changes. We know there's always light at the end of the tunnel. For every down, there's an up. So coming out of this, as you mentioned, we could have a really strong commodity uh, market. And uh, when you look at Leocor's situation, um, massive land packages great anomalies, uh, two years advanced on all of these projects and uh, and still, uh, you know, a, a, a strong treasury and the drill season. I mean, this is when things happen. We're going into uh, drill different pro properties in, in Newfoundland this summer and and we're going to be the news flow will be strong. So, you know, as an entry point, what's not to like? Yeah. And like I said, I find it very undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. The opportunity to be able to invest in a company that raised money, $8 million at 50 cents two years ago. You guys have continued to continue to move forward in your plans. And now you're getting a chance to get in at, let's say, 12 cents in Canada as opposed yeah. to 50 cents, I think is a great value proposition, like I said. And why do you think Newfoundland is the place to find gold? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, uh, places like Ontario, Quebec, even British Columbia have had a lot of exploration over the last, you know, 30, 40, 50 years and, and even further back. Um, Newfoundland hasn't, uh, you know, uh, 
20, 25 years ago was Noranda basically had the entire island and they they were just sampling for different things and looking around, but nobody really, Newfoundland came back on the radar really, I think with Newfound Gold in their, in their generational find. Uh, it's an extremely high grade, big deposit. And, and, and that really brought a lot of attention to, to, to Newfoundland. And, and, and that is because there's been minimal um, exploration done and and the data is there so you got virgin ground it's one of the reasons why we did 150,000 uh, hectare package there with 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 Sean the western exploits package that we is what we call it um and we're casting the net out real wide now we don't expect all 150,000 hectares to to be given um but there will be hot spots that have previously been un, unknown uh, within those large packages. So our plan is to reduce the size of those packages, um, cut the obligations in terms of holding that ground over a long period of time. Um, and we're there now after two years of, of soil sampling. We've done well over 100,000 soil samples, uh, and that's massive. Uh, and this really builds out, you know, your this is sh essentially Sean's exploration um, philosophy. And you start with that, you go and you do some rab drilling, and then you you really get into the hot spots with the diamond drills. So we're in, we're still doing rab drilling this summer. Um, but but what I what I like is is you know, obviously that ground, newfound gold is not going to be the only massive discovery or major discovery um, that that would be in and of itself quite a geological story if that was the case. But we know where there's gold, there's gold. So just because uh, no, no one is as is has found it yet doesn't mean it isn't there. And and you you don't want to go into a pin cushion. You know, I mean, people talk about Nevada a lot and that you know the battle mountain trend and all those the big trends in in nevada and those things have been poked for for you know 75 years so you know you 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 wonder where if if something has 30 40 50 100 drill holes on it where the gold is hiding well we don't have that in newfoundland we've got all of the the geological anomalies all of the positive structure all of the positive things you need to see that the boxes are checked but they haven't really been explored in any great detail and and so we're in that right now it's almost like a new rush gold rush and uh, we're excited and we think there's going to be some big discoveries over the next couple of years i think so too and with gold at two thousand dollars this is the right time for investors to be looking into gold and junior gold miners now alex can you share your exploration philosophy similarly sean ryan huge 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 person to be working with is your technical star can you yeah. tell us a bit more about his methodology yeah well he does these uh really does if he he'll mine uh, government data first and there's there's a treasure trove of of data that's sort of sitting there unused so he he goes in does his due diligence in that respect takes historical numbers and historical work and then pieces off areas where he feels there's going to be some luck so you go in first with these with these wide swaths of of soil grids and then you're really just sampling a uh, surface and you you look for indicator indicator um, materials and once you sort of determine that you go in with rab drilling rab is is a cheap alternative um, to diamond drilling uh, rab is more of a, a crush uh, and it, it'll go down 30, 40, 50 meters uh, at, at most. And, and you can almost sample in real time um, what you're bringing up. And now you, what you're doing there is you're really furthering your drill targets for the diamond diamond programs. And diamond drilling is it has to be precise and you really want to know where your targets are. You don't want to just willy nilly diamond holes. They're expensive and you, you need to know where you're going. So Sean's method really gets you to a point where you've de-risked those holes to a great degree. And and that's kind of where we're at now. We've had two years of the, the soil sampling. Now, we have one package in Bay Vert, which is a well-known mining district in Newfoundland. And and we we did some uh, rab drilling there last fall and came up with some really good numbers. And Sean is the perfect guy to talk to. In fact, we should have him on, Rich, for, for an additional interview where he can speak to the anomaly that we've generated up at, at our Dorset package which is within this Bay Vert project, um, the, 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 the anomaly, uh, he thinks quote unquote is one of the best, if not the best on the Island. Wow. So it's really, really interesting. It's just lit up like a Christmas tree. And I did, in fact, I did a zoom yesterday with several geologists. I'm like the fly on the wall. I let the technical guys do their thing. Um, but they were basically all saying the same thing, like, wow, that looks phenomenal. Now we put out some news. It's out there. You can, you can go to our website and read the news releases from uh, late last year. And you can see that we do mention this anomaly, but we're going to get back in there and drill it a little more. And, and we think there's something special going on there at that Dorset package. 
That's exciting. I can't wait to see mm. the results. And I'd love to have Sean on the show. Yeah. Let's set it up anytime you like. Now you're entering your busy drill season ahead. What are your goals for this year's work programs? Mm. I'm glad you asked because there's 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 one thing to say you have 150,000 hectares. Um, it, it, but, you know, how sustainable is that over a long period of time, uh, especially for a junior? Uh, you need to reduce the size of those claims to the hot spots where you think your best love is going to be found. So that's where we're going now. And I hope to be able to to really reduce over 2023 um, large portions of that ground, which were simply, you know, is not going to be the priority areas. So we reduce our obligations and our costs moving forward. We hone in on the on the hot spots that we think are going to give us discovery. Um, and so that's really the goal this year with with the Western Exploits package, our Bay Vert package. Uh, we want to get in. We want to do a few more rab holes to, to really uh, define where the best drill targets are. And then we'll go in with diamond probably late Q2 or sometime in Q3. We'll get into diamond drilling and and uh, that's going to be exciting, too. But but it's it's an impactful uh, drill season coming at, coming up. We've got a lot of decisions to make. And again, when you talk about timing, I mean, two years ago at 50 cents, this was a solid enough deal to raise eight million in institutional money and, and, and you know, lots of lots of participants. Here we are uh, a few years later. Uh, we're at 12 cents. We still have a strong treasury. But the data, the, the advancement of the projects is two years ahead. Uh, we have two thousand dollar gold now. Uh, admittedly, we haven't had nothing's really caught fire, despite the fact that we have two thousand dollar gold. But but there's nothing to suggest that we don't see twenty two, twenty three, even twenty five hundred dollar gold sometime in the near future. And and if we can get a little bit of that, um, yeah, I think it's game on. And and uh, the, the twelve cent uh, Leocor price, the six million market cap, will no longer be. Uh, sitting there for for all to see it it should uh, it should get a nice bump look sentiment is the driver in this business everybody takes credit for for sentiment driven uh success uh it's no more or no different than uh putting up a sail in, in on a sailboat on a, on a windy day uh you know the the power's in the wind so the power in our business is in the sentiment and when sentiment comes, boom, all of a sudden overnight, everybody's up 25, 30, 35% for no real reason at all other than sentiment. So that sideline money will come roaring in like a tsunami. And we, we you know, I, I really do believe that that Leocor is going to see quite a bump. I agree with you. And you mentioned the Dorset project within your mm -hmm. Bay Vert package mm -hmm. is your flagship at the moment. What's ahead for this exciting project? Yeah, like I mentioned, we really want to get in there. We want to get diamond drills in the ground. So some of us uh, in the management team and, and on the board want, want to see those diamond holes tomorrow. Uh, Sean is, uh, you know, he's the patient guy who wants to do things his way. So we're going to listen to Sean. We're going to go pop a few more rab holes uh, just to define uh, further where the, where the best spots to put the diamond holes are. Uh, you know, I mean, we had 10 meters of two and a half grams last year. We got another five meters of six grams and some really interesting hits. And, you know, for an area and these were in areas that had never previously been dr drilled. So these were these were bona fide discovery holes. Um, and so we're you know, we're excited. We think that's going to be a big find. Uh, but what's ahead of Dorset is rab drilling in the near term. And then we'll jump into the diamond uh, in Q3. Fantastic. We are speaking with the CEO of LeoCore Gold, Alex Klenman. I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. I want to bring your attention to the symbols. In Canada, the symbol is L-E-C-R. In America, the symbol is L-E-C-R-F. If you're not winning, probably not watching, we bring in the winners, we bring the CEO interviews, we bring the news, and we bring it to you first. Thank you for joining us today, Alex. I appreciate it, Rich. Thanks for having me. I look forward to coming back. Always a pleasure. And we feel that Leo Core Gold is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Put on your radar, put on your watch list. You're, this is your host of the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, bring you Leo Core Gold with the CEO, Alex Klenman. Thank you very much for your time today and have a great day. Thank you.